How many times have you or someone in your family started an antibiotic course for a simple ailment such as a cough or cold? How many times have you started taking a course of azithromycin 500 mg for a viral infection, a viral infection on which antibiotics will be ineffective since it is not bacterial in nature, which is what antibiotics work against? And how many times have you left an antibiotic course midway as you are feeling better? Yes, we Indians are guilty of consuming too many antibiotics, that too many a times at will and without proper guidance. India today is the largest consumer of antibiotics by volume in the world. As per a recent report by the Lancet Regional Health, a part of one of the most respected medical journals globally, the Lancet, in 2019 alone, we Indians in terms of defined daily dose or DDD, a measure for drug consumption, consumed 500 crore antibiotic tablets with azithromycin being the most popular. This large and indiscriminate use of antibiotics is giving rise to a serious problem, antimicrobial resistance or AMR. This is when germs like bacteria and fungi develop the ability to defeat the drugs designed to beat them. This means we need stronger doses of antibiotics or longer courses of antibiotics to combat the same infections and sometimes medicines stop working as well. India has one of the highest rates of AMR in the world and as per a 2017 study was responsible for close to 60,000 infant deaths per year. In fact, this rising AMR in India has also been highlighted in a recent speech by the Union Minister of State Dr. Bharti Praveen Pavar who urged stakeholders to create awareness on it. AMR is a serious problem. It is giving rise to multi-drug resistant bacteria or superbugs. To put it into perspective, superbugs at one point were just bugs. But over a period of time, these strains of bacteria built up resistance to drugs, making them survive and grow despite usage of drugs, making them more difficult to treat. Superbug cases rise mainly in hospitals due to factors such as long hospitalizations, pre-existing diseases, immunosuppressants. But the point of concern is the sheer increase in the number of superbug cases in the past 10 years. For example, ICU doctors saw only one to two superbug cases out of a total 10 patients around a decade ago. Today, they see at least three to four, with some cases carrying 60% mortality rates. So what about India's antibiotic usage is different that leads to antimicrobial resistance? In most countries, the first line of treatment is more basic or a narrow-spectrum antibiotic. India is guilty of prescribing the more broad-based antibiotics where indiscriminate use can result in faster rise in AMR and are only prescribed in case the narrow-spectrum or basic antibiotic does not work. For example, in 2019, over 5 out of 10 people used broad-based antibiotics, while only approximately 3 out of 10 people used narrow-spectrum or basic antibiotics. Also, another differentiating factor for India and antibiotics is the easy access we have to it. In most countries, antibiotic usage is highly regulated. One needs a prescription to access antibiotics. India lacks the strict protocol for dispensation and antibiotics are mostly available over the counter. That too many a times given by an unqualified chemist. Greater usage of antibiotics and especially broad-based antibiotics in India is also linked to financial issues. India today has one of the highest out-of-pocket expenditures when it comes to health. Hence, many a times it is more expensive for a patient with symptoms of a cough and cold to get tests done to diagnose themselves. Instead, a doctor prescribes a broad-based antibiotic to cover the possibility that the person has a bacterial infection as it is cheaper and a less time-consuming alternative. Experts point out an urgent need to regulate the use and dispensation of antibiotics. Interestingly, not just in humans, in poultry too. Apparently, another factor that fuels AMR in humans is the usage of antibiotics in poultry to keep them germ-free, which in fact has resulted in cases of AMR in poultry and subsequently humans. To conclude, regulatory oversight and control of arbitrary use of antibiotics is a must.